morning everyone this is xv88 mars playground bringing y'all another video today and hopefully y'all guys having a good day so far good morning good afternoon uh, and good evening to whatever you had a part of this country to all good people okay um thank the creator for another day uh for this blessed day okay um Today we are not talking about homeschooling or cryptocurrency. We're just talking about a person that I respect and seen on TV as being a black American. Uh, this guy was to me a top notch. And when I saw him, you know, it was a guy that I respect. Okay. Today we're just talking about Colin Powell. Okay. Uh, he passed away at 84 from COVID. Okay. 19 complications. And we're just going to be reading details about this and, um, my videos, you know, I, I, I be I try not to put too much politics in it, but at the same time, I want my kids to learn this as as well. Okay, um, it's one of those stories that, you know, that it kind of touch people, and my condolences go to his family. Okay, and I respect this man. Like I said, growing up in the '90s, this was a person that I respect and seen on TV. You know, and um, yeah, so we just gonna go in details, and we just gonna read little stuff about you know colin powell's and um i'm getting this information from the hill as well uh whatever news you read y'all guys you know just do your best to find your own research uh you know basically just to talk about this man you know because this is a man that i respect and most of the country respects especially growing up in the 90s all right and uh yeah let's go ahead and detail so um Former Secretary of State, okay, Colin Powell, the first black American to serve in the post, died on Monday at the age of 84 due to complications from COVID-19, okay? His family announced in a statement, all right? So, like I said, I give my condolences to his family, and I know what they're going through, um, but let's continue on. The family said the former chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff had been fully vaccinated, and was received uh, receiving treatment at Walter Reed National Medical Center. Okay, um, he also had uh, reported they reported had been diagnosed with multiple uh, types of cancer. Okay, uh, so he was fully vaccinated, and you know, like I said, I'm like putting politics in this, and I'm not reading this because of that. Uh, you have your own choice. To do what you do all right as american citizens and i know as our country look at it, and people forcing you to do you know under that through the constitution and you don't feel like you know that you fully free as you know that that's how it is in the world all right so you just gotta go ahead and just keep on striving and just stay up okay people all right so let's go ahead and details and talk about a little more okay so let's go ahead and talk about this. So former U.S. Secretary of State and Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff passed away this morning due to complications, okay? Um, we have lost a remarkable and loving husband, okay? Father, grandfather, and a great American. And that's true, okay? Uh, the family added. So Powell was born in 1937 in New York City. He was raised by Jamaican immigrant parents in the South Bronx. Wow, I did not know that. You know, it's good to read about this stuff and go ahead. Even when you read about it, go back, you know, try to go back in time and put yourself in his shoes and see how he grew up. All right. So history, I love history. Okay, everyone. Um, let's go ahead. So former President George Bush, all right, was tapped power to serve as his secretary of state okay and uh he said he deeply said okay uh let's go back so following a decorated military career that included tours in v vietnam power held key military and di diplomacy uh position throughout government okay serving under both democratic and republic uh presidents okay so he served from both of them, Democrat, Democrat and um, Republicans, okay? So, like I said, guys, it's kind of touched me. And, you know, we want our heroes to live forever. You know, we look at Muhammad Ali, uh, different people in the past. You know, we 
want those people at that time where we was in. We want our heroes and people to live forever. But as a reality, we don't live forever. And that's why also, like I said, guys, I make these videos uh, to teach my kids. Hopefully they go back and look at these videos. Some of your guys um, can check it out as well. Um, you know, I do cryptocurrency. I, I just... I just try to put something out there for y'all can have and survive as well. Okay. So I just give y'all the news. All right. So yeah, it's kind of deep and, you know, it's kind of deep and this kind of touched me as well. All right, guys. So, uh, you know, just go ahead and just read this story as well. Okay. So in a speech before the United Nations in February, 2003, power show what he said was evidence from U S intelligence. All right. Uh, based on the head of details about misleading, all right, the Iraq, war, uh, Iraq military and stuff like that. So just go ahead, you know, and read this. And most of the middle ones just talking about war and different stuff. So I uh, just want to talk about, you know, the man itself. So after graduation in 1958, Powell joined the U.S. Army and was twice deployed to South Vietnam. South, yeah, South Vietnam. Where he was wounded twice. Ouch. Did not know that. Okay. He also in a power study at the City College at New York. Where he participated in ROTC. Okay. And uh, we're going to do the conclusion. Because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm just trying to give y'all some information. You know, history. Uh, from a man. You know, that. You know, what I saw on TV and grew up on. Okay. Um, he also said, I'm not a follower of anything right now. I'm just a citizen who has voted Republican, voted Democratic throughout my entire career. And right now, I'm just watching my country and not concerned with parties. Wow, that's deep right there. All right. So he basically saying, you know, he see his country basically not... It's concerns to it, you know, and it's it should be concerns for every American, whatever's going on. OK, and um, this article going to here, I'm not going to call on names. I want to be, you know, a uh, blog. I ain't trying to have too much politics in this or nothing like that. Um, but I like this right here. It says when he was tapped by George Bush and I read about this to serve as secretary of state, breaking another barrel and becoming the first black american to serve in the role all right they didn't say you know african-american you know they ain't said no other words they said the first black american to serve in the role all right and um that's deep right there you know that's really deep so always remember you know that we are here for something we are here to do better um, if you're in the streets or something, you always got to try to find a way to change your life. All right. Especially being a man. All right. Uh, I've seen plenty of stuff. I've seen a lot of things growing up. All right. And, um, at the same time, you got to change your play, you know, even though you're growing up around that as a person, you know, you just got to change. You just got to change. That's all I got to say with that one. All right. But I do respect this man. Uh, my condolences go to his family. And um, hopefully we can have more leaders like this in the future. All right. Um, try to teach your kids to be leaders. All right. To be the best. All right. And um, not just because of a color of a skin or something like that. You just teach your kids to be the best. All right. Guys, this is XV88 Mars Playground. Y'all guys have a good one. All right. Probably see y'all later on. Peace.